Are you battle-hardened? Are you battle-weary? Have you just not shaved like me in a few days? So much so that your youngest son comes up, looks at you in the morning and says, what is it, no shave November? You gotta shave that stuff off. I'm not kidding. He said that to me this morning. So yeah, it's been about four days. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now this is all, this is halfway into Monday, Labor Day here in the United States. I took a shower. I have not done my hair, but I did get a haircut. The reason why I haven't done my hair is because I got some stuff from Lox and Company. There he is. There's the man behind Lox and Company. This is a company in Pennsylvania. They make a bunch of grooming products for men, and it's all kind of like, uh, cool, kind of like, uh, you know, war, like, here's the name of it. Here's, here's one of their pomades, War Daddy Wax. That's pretty cool. And then you got the aftershave I'm going to be using today, Bayonet Butter. See the dead soldier? And then the pomade. Now, I'm not a pomade guy, but he sent me a couple of tins, so I at least want to try it out this one time. Uh, he sent me this Battle Wax. See, it goes along with the locks and company. Oh, there's a hair on it. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. Like I said, I haven't done my hair yet. That's why it's all flopping around. Put a little pomade. Now this scent is the original scent, and it's a wax base, so it's been sitting in the warm water down here, softening up just a little bit. And uh, they also sent me a comb, look at that. When's the last time you had one of these combs sticking out of your back pocket? Oh my gosh, I used to carry a comb like that, but a short one back in high school, ugh, what a dork. Anyway, let's try out this battle wax before we shave. And I am gonna use his uh, bayonet butter aftershave at the end of this, because I'm gonna need it. You can see the gray hair is just growing. All right, so here's the pomade. I've tried it a little bit before. So what you do is a little bit goes a long way. Like I said, this is wax based. So I'm just gonna use that much for now. Cause like I said, I may be, uh, I don't know if you're supposed to do it dry or wet. I'm gonna do it's like half and half. So what you do is you mix it. If you've never used pomade before, mix it together. So it warms up in your hands. Your hands are kind of shiny, see that? And then you just kind of style. Now I put just a light amount because like I said, I don't like a lot of pomade. I like using, I use mousse and then hairspray and that way I can just like go like that and it's gone. Pomade will stay in your hair until you wash it out with shampoo. This is, uh, it's not water-based, it's wax-based. So it'll take a little bit extra doing once you get in the, sh in the shower. Cause I, I did this when I first got this last week and it stuck with me, so it will stay. And it's all natural. They don't use any weird stuff. I was reading their literature and it says, Lox and Company Limited has been inspiring the sharp savage for years. We are pioneers. We are patriots. We are Loxmen. The John Wicks. Peaky Blinders. James Bonds. Untouchables. Members of the Kingsmen and inglorious bastards everywhere. Can rely on us to keep them sharp and savage. So thanks. Oh, thanks, David. But they know him as the Godfather. Uh, and everybody else over there for sending this to me. I could probably use a little bit more because, but my hair is kind of short because I just got it cut, but I think I'm going to keep it like that. I got to, got to at least do this, right? Got to pull it through there at least once. There we go. Yeah. I mean, that's just a tiny amount. You can use more, especially if you're, you know, got kind of a pompadour, you're going for that thing, but it smells, Ooh, it smells good. It smells like, Oh, it smells like those vanilla sandwich cream cookies. That's what it smells like to me. Ah, oh, almost like a lemon sandwich cream cookie. Ooh, Good stuff, good pomade. I probably won't use the other one, maybe I'll try it at some other point, but there's the War Daddy. Here's the Battle, Battle Wax, not Battle Axe, Battle Wax. Okay, let's get to shaving, shall we? Like I said, I took my shower. I'm gonna put some hot water up on these whiskers. And then uh, what are we gonna shave with today? It took three, it took three days. And, uh, you know, before I started this video, I was so thinking about the, the pomade and everything else, I forgot to get a, uh, to get a shaving cream out. Let's see. I'm just going to go with the old, my standby. Marguerite's in the Arctic. I barely use this anymore. But every time I do, it reminds me of the very, of 10 years ago. It's been 10 years. Okay, let me get this thing wet lather up and we'll get going. I'm going to use my 100 year old Gillette safety razor today. 19, 1918. So it's 103 years old now. Works just as well. It's got some miles on it, but it works just as well today as it did when that gentleman bought it 103 years ago. I would love to know who bought that thing brand new. Where were they? What was their name? What was their shave like? What was their life like at the time? All right, there we go. 
clean off the tub and let it dry. Ready to go. I'm gonna put a little bit more water. I think I need a little bit more water. Man, my whiskers are, they're almost an eighth of an inch long. And for me, that's long. I'm sure my skin will be blotchy and red underneath because that's just the way my skin does when I, when that's so funny. My son said, what is it? No shave November? And I said, no, no son, I'm not doing that this year. Not this year. Not after what we've all been through. I can't take that at the end of it. <laughs> I think last year I was dying to shave off like about four days before it was over. Dying. All right, hot water, hot water. There we go. All right. So we got the 1918 Gillette. It's a three piece. I'm going to put a feather blade in it. So take off the handle. Now the handle's a little bit loose. You know, if you get one of these, you're going to find cracks. It's an open comb type razor. It's the very first, it's like one of the first ones they ever came out with. Brand new feather blade right out of the sleeve. Or the, what do they call that? Not the pack. What do they call the little, little packs of uh, razor blades? Dang it, drawing a blank. Razor blades, speaking of which, let's take the head of that 103 year old beauty and the bottom part of the head and the bottom part of the bottom part now this one I got, I have to kind of make sure that the blade gap is, is straight because I don't want to slice my face off. That looks pretty good. It's a very thin headed razor and that's kind of nice. Let me tighten it up with this over here. Because it does, the blade hangs out either side and uh, you don't want to grab hold of that too hard. All right. Yeah, look at that. That ain't moving. It's like Conan O'Brien's hair now. Uh, here we go. Like I said, I've got, what, three and a half days growth? If I tried shaving this off with a cartridge razor, it would yank every stroke. But the beauty of safety razors, and this one is just, this is the grandpa of them all. And a sharp razor blade, that just, I mean, you don't even know you have whiskers. That's how well these safety razors work. And if you've been curious to get into these, if you just found my videos and haven't watched, well, congratulations on watching this far with the nonsense that I tend to spew. But don't be intimidated by a safety razor. I know when I was a kid, I saw them in my, you know, my grandfather's bathroom. I was like, how does that thing work? I knew what a cartridge razor was because that's what my dad used, like those old cheap ones in the 70s. But when I saw Grandpa Tiggs, it was kind of intimidating. But I want you to know, you don't need to be intimidated. That's the other great thing about this little teeny tiny thin head. It gets really easily up under your nostrils. This is slicing through these whiskers like butter. I mean it. I really mean it. I'm going to go very lightly, just very gingerly, so I don't cut myself. And I'll be curious to try out the uh, bayonet butter. <laughs> bayonet butter. This is good. Oh, I hear the vacuum cleaner coming my way. So if you hear some vacuum cleaner noises from the other room, it's Labor Day and we're kind of cleaning up the house, you know. Ooh, that one caught. That one actually got caught. Did you see that? Let me see if it's the little bent one. I've got a little bent tooth right on the end. And I think that's what caught right there. I've got one little bent tooth. I'm gonna stretch my skin out further so it doesn't do it again. There we go. Ah, man. Already feels so much better. I hate having stubble on my face. I really do. And I was extremely lazy this weekend. But that's okay. You can be lazy. Let yourself be lazy sometimes. Don't be lazy all the dang time, please. <laughs> if you can help it. Because that doesn't do anybody any good. But every now and then, allow yourself. <sighs> this is so smooth, I could stop right now. I could stop right now. I could kiss my grandma with this face and she wouldn't, you know. <laughs> of course, my grandmother passed away, both of them quite a few years ago, so uh, I couldn't really kiss them on the face. 
This is getting weird. Let's not talk about that. Let's go for the second pass. We'll see if we need to do three. You can buy these razors, these old Gillettes. I can't remember. It's like the ball type Gillette. I can't remember the exact terminology. That's not my thing. I don't memorize those things. You can go to Razor Emporium and they know every single thing about every razor. So if you want to learn more about the early Gillette safety razors, just Google it. All right. Cross the grain. What little grain there is left. Oh, I got one tiny nick on my lip. Just one. Just one. Man, this is such a simple, good, classic designed razor. I mean, he hit it. King Gillette. He knocked it out of the park. First try. Of course, they went off, you know, down some weird uh, paths, you know, since then. But what the heck? Feels so much better being clean shaven. And Caden, I got Caden Christensen, one of uh, one of the old, one of the OG fans of this channel. One of the mods when we have uh, those live streams. He had a question about. Uh, he's a, uh, I believe, a high school teacher, and he's had facial hair for a while because he's a young guy. He's in his twenties. And I think he feels like he has kind of a baby face and the, the beard helps kind of gain some respect with the students, he said. So, but it's also a pain to wear a mask with a full beard like that. So he was wondering whether he should keep the beard in order to keep that level of, you know, respect going. Like maybe, you know, like respect for your elders type stuff or to shave it off because it's easier. I don't know. That's a tough one, Gaden. That's a tough one. Because I understand completely wanting to keep that beard, that look, because I'm sure it must be hard to gain the respect of high school students these days. My hat's off to you for, for even trying. My wife is also an educator, so I know what it's like to deal with, uh, with students. I hear the stories. But you know what? While I do understand why you don't want to shave it off, it's perfectly reasonable. I don't think you should let them dictate what you do. I don't think facial hair will necessarily garner the respect that you deserve. I think your actions, just the way you are as a teacher and as a human being, as an educator, as a, you know, as a I'm going to say friend, you know, as a mentor, perhaps. All those things, separate from facial hair, are what's going to get you that respect. And I think you are capable of it. So that's my advice. I've got lots of little nicks. Oh, no, I'm going to have to get the alum out. But this is a very simple... I wouldn't say it's elegant. It's slightly crude. But it's a simple, crude razor. <laughs> that just does, ju does the job. This is from a no-nonsense time in American history. <laughs> People weren't as, you know, well off and uh, leisurely as they are now. They were working harder probably, busting their rear ends, and all while wearing like black wool suits and outfits and giant dresses and huge hats, you know? I mean, imagine 1918, just after World War I, all those doughboys coming back. Continuing with the doughboy sort of, uh, ah, see? You can't plan these things, they just happen. Imagine the world of 1918, my goodness. Of course, it would have been different for, talking about America here. Imagine the United States in 1918. Whoever purchased this razor that I'm now using 103 years later, they had no idea. I mean, my gosh. Think of all the things that they would not have known about that we take for granted and are even annoyed by today. <laughs> Just the technology alone. But I guarantee if you brought this man that bought this razor, brought him back from what I assume is the great beyond for him, 
I gave him a choice of this old razor that he used then, or the most brand new heated, vibrating, multi-blade cartridge razor from the same company. I think he'd stick with this. Not because that's all he knew. I think he'd be savvy enough to understand that this is better. Of course, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. All right. I got lots of little nicks, so I need to get my Allen block out to stop those. I always use the one from Shave Nation, Geo Fat Boys Company. Check him out on YouTube. He is one of the, oh, also OG wet shavers on YouTube. They got me started doing this when I was first doing it. And uh, I feel honored to be in his company. So Geo Fat Boy, if you're out there watching, all my shout outs and my cheers, and my, my appreciation to you and Mantic 59 and all those kind of guys. All those guys. All right, I'm hoping that that's gonna stop all those little nicks. That's something else about my skin. And you'll know this about your own skin. If I don't let uh, shave every day, it, it kind of gets more sensitive and like is more easy to, to get nicks and cuts. And I got one little one there, but you know what? That's not enough to worry about. I'm gonna let this sit for a second. One, one second, there we go. I'm gonna wash it off. And then after shave, butter. So it's all natural. All these products uh, mm, from Locks and Company, they're all natural. Not a bunch of weird chemicals and stuff. And it's American made in Pennsylvania. They pride themselves on all that. Pooey. I just got to do my hair again. Look, I got a little piece of a shaving. Look at that. Look at that. Do. <laughs> All right, it's kind of Elvisy going. All right, I look nothing like Elvis, but uh, yeah, you can also do this to make it look a little bit more like you know chunky. All right, here we go. Let's get the bayonet butter soothing tea tree. There's two ounces. Ooh, that smells good. I'm not sure what tea tree is supposed to sm smell like, but if this is it, then it's good. I like it. So it's a little bit soft. I think it's about the same consistency as the uh, as the pomade, maybe a little bit softer. I did not warm this up, so it is just softer on its own. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mix it in here and do this. Ooh, that's interesting. That coats and it smells so nice. Tea tree. So if you're a fan of tea tree, that's interesting. I've never thought about having an aftershave that was kind of like a pomade kind of. That's a cool idea. Good job, Godfather. Put the top back on. Oh, I got some shaving cream on it. Just wipe it right off. Is that it? Am I done? Ooh, I'll have to go ask the wife, see if she likes this scent. Oh, so smooth. Even the problem areas. Oh, there's a little bit right there. Always, always right there. There we go. It's just effortless, effortless. Looks like most of those nicks stopped. I'll keep doing this just in case. But that's it for today. So thanks to everybody over at Locks. And Company Limited, I'll put a link down below. Check. They have tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Beard oil and other grooming products, hair products, shaving, aftershaves, everything. Lip, they even have lip balm, for goodness sake. So I'm going to wash up over here, clean out my brush, put away everything, stick this sucker in my back pocket, and maybe even do this so I can make a little... Uh... You ever do that? <laughs> Time to go. See you, everybody.